Good afternoon, everybody. It's Monday. Um, I, of course, I just want to chime in to tell y'all all about my birthday weekend. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. So I had, I had, I had a, I was very blessed. I had a blessed birthday. It was beautiful. I had a good birthday. Um, it was a short stay, but I enjoyed it very, very much. Um, I'm actually babysitting my granddaughter. She's two months and she is so beautiful. She's kept me up all night, mind you. So I am feel like I'm just like the walking dead right now. So as I was trying to sleep while the princess is in there sleeping, I couldn't sleep because my kids is FaceTiming because they want to see her and ooh and ah and all that stuff, including the mother. She wants to, um, hey, what y'all doing? And I'm trying to get something. I'm like, look, I've been up all night with her, okay? I haven't babysit a newborn since the last time you had a kid, and that was seven years ago. So I really hope she's done because I'm done. <laughs> But she's in there asleep. She's just sleeping so peacefully. But I do want to do my injection today of my Wegovy pen. It's the 2.4 milligram. I let it sit out for a minute because I guess it'd be kind of frozen. So I did just want to do my injection. I have my alcohol. I do it every Monday. And then that's when I have to take like all of my vitamins too. And I just took my vitamins too, y'all. So... I've been up, but I've been trying to get some sleep, and I've been up with the baby, so I'm just, like, tired. But, anywho, I um, want to do my, share my injection. Believe it or not, these are my Zofran Denazia pills. So, my doctor asked me, by the way, the last time I saw him was, what, I think, like, last week. He said, I didn't know, he said you would think that the Wigovi 2.4 milligrams is the highest that they have. He said, I would think that it would be in your system by now because, I, you know, I've been on it. Y'all been following my journey. I've been on it. So this is the highest it goes, by the way. There's no other dosage. But, man, oh, man, this shit come with side effects, y'all. And I'm living proof of that shit. Just throwing up, feeling nauseated. I don't wish that shit on, I normally would say somebody, but no, seriously, I'm just joking. I don't, I wouldn't want to see even karma play that role in wishing that shit on somebody. I'd be feeling like nauseated, and that's why I have to take these. I just picked these up yesterday when we got back from my, um, my trip, my birthday weekend, um, because I need them, and I was taking them while I was gone. I was taking them when we was in Tennessee. It's just, this shit, like, no. It's no fucking joke. This nausea and the vomiting. First of all, I hate vomiting and I hate, you know, I hate vomiting. I hate feeling like I want to throw up. That shit is no joke. Then I just thought about something. The last time I was in the hospital, I was talking with one of the nurses. She was like, man, I was about the same age. So she was saying she was taking the pen, taking the pen, but she was taking a different pen. I don't know any of the pens. I mean, if you guys know me, is, is there other diet pens out? Let me know. I'm not saying I want to try it. I'm very satisfied with what I'm doing and where I'm at. And this is we go. So this is kind of like the day curl like day. I'm trying, I was trying to say something in French with it backfired. It's kind of like the top of the line to me. So, and these is hard to get and this and this pen is very expensive, so I'm thanking God for my insurance because they can see that my weight loss is coming down. Um and I'm thankful for that. I have been baby stepping myself back into working out. So, that has been helping as well. I think I'm a sneak and buy me a scale. The last time I had when I was so obsessed with weighing myself and oh my god, I gained 2 pounds. Oh my god, I was panicking. H2B, he had told me to throw it away. He was like, I'm just throwing it away because you too obsessed. And then I was working out. That's when I was full throttling and working out. And when I saw if I gained a couple of pounds, I was panicking, even though it wasn't enough to even talk about. But I was just panicking. And he said, he said I was just too obsessed. I was constantly weighing myself. And he said he didn't want to see me go through that. And he said he didn't want to go through that again. So, I don't know. I just kind of want to see where I'm at with my weight now. But, 
I kind of just when I go to my doctor's, which is once a month, of course you get your vital checks. So that's how I can tell what my weight loss is and things like that. I do feel probably if I do get another scale, I probably would be obsessed like before. But I try. I will. Oh shit! I will try not to be though. And I'm sick of this fly that's in here. And he got a lot of freaking nerve. What he just got? Oh, I keeps me this. This is the best. And it be knocking animals on their behinds. And I be like, boy. And you can use it um, indoor and outdoor. I, I keeps this. I don't care what it costs. I'm buying it. I don't know where that fly just went. Fucker. He been in here for, I don't know, Pat. I hope I got him. It's hard to even spray with these nails on, but I hope I got his little. I know if I see him laying in the window, see him somewhere on the floor, then I know I got him, obviously. But, so sucker. Yeah, I forgot what I was about to say. I'm gonna wash my hands right quick. Gotta do this shot. Oh yeah, so I will. Uh, I'm gonna go in the room after this because I need to sit in there with her. Get a monitor for her while she's sleeping. Beauty is sleeping her little life away. She kept me up. And when she was fussing, she was fussing. She just was crying and crying. I'm like, what is going on, little baby? Like, woo child. Y'all can keep that shit. Keep having these babies, y'all. Go right ahead. Because no, uh-uh. Jesus will have to come off the throne for me to raise another baby, let alone have one. And go through what I went through last night. I am so sleepy. Oh, no. We up. It's 3, 4 in the morning. I'm up hiding bags, burping, changing the, oh, no. Warming up bottles. Oh, my God. Mother of God. Ooh, my daughter a good one too because my other grandson, he's seven, but this is the first girl. So, of course, we're going to love on her and support her. It's just going to be natural. So, y'all forgive me my ugly stomach. Y'all know what time it is. I'm about to do my little injection shot right quick. Um, My head hurt too. Mm, let's see. So I do it. Like, all these scars, y'all can't even fucking tell. My damn stomach and shit. It's horrendous and hideous. What if I bring it closer? Would it be a better view? Let's see. That a little better, yeah. So I guess I'll do it over here or something. Oh, yeah, but I was saying about the nurse. She said that what I forgot what the pill was. But she told me all about it. We was kicking it for a minute. I was in there like two days. And I don't know. You know, we got on subject for talking about this. So she said she had to do her. Excuse me. She said she had to do her injection every day. Every day I'd be like, fuck these pants. I can't do this shit every day. I wouldn't want to do it. Bad as I wanted to lose weight. And I'm thankful because my weight loss has been coming down. I would have to go another method. Like, just another method. Not even a cheating method, but... Why did I spray it right here? All right, so... So, this the medicine is in here. I think I did this before when I first started doing it, but I just said I'll just recap because I am still currently on the pen. And, yes, it does work for my weight loss. My weight loss has been coming down really good. It just makes you feel... It's just these side effects. i even been praying, like, Lord... Please just remove these side effects because I can't take this feeling nauseated every day. Not every, most days, I'm not going to lie. I throw up. I even threw up at dinner, y'all, on my birthday. Just threw up because I just started feeling nauseated and I couldn't even make it to the restroom. I just threw up under the table. Like, it, I was so embarrassed. HGB was like, oh my God, are you serious right now? I'm like, oh, uh, you think? Yeah, I'm throwing up. I think I'm quite serious. 
but I think I should have just got my ass up when I started feeling nauseated. But I'm like, just trying to, you know, because it spoils your mood and everything, and you want to just try to, like, shake it off. So I took the little one of these dissolvers, because I took them with me. I put it on, you put it on your tongue, and you let it dissolve. And it normally it does work. Sometimes I'm going to take more than one, but you can't, I can't take them back to back. I take them three times a day or something like that. But it as needed, pretty much. So I'll take it, let it dissolve. It leaves a kind of a fruity, nasty taste in your mouth. Then I drink some water to kind of wash it down. Then, you know, it, you got to give it a minute. But it normally, it, it makes me feel better. It takes it nausea away or, it don't, or I don't throw up. So when I start feeling it, I went ahead and took it. But for some reason, like when I did that, that shit came right up. Like everything, I, I had just ate my dinner. It all came up. So, you know, when we went back to the room, I woke up 1, 2 in the morning. I'm starving, stomach touching my back. Even though we had carrot, we brought the food to the room. I didn't even want to eat that because I had through. You know, it's like you don't want to eat what you just threw the fuck up, even though it was some good food. That's just me. I'm funny like that. I could have ate some of his shit. Or even our advertisers. But I didn't even want to eat nothing because I, I threw everything up. I threw the advertisers up. I threw what I ate up. You know, I didn't even taste what he had. Or, but I just didn't even want to eat it because I, I, I had thrown it up. So I'm going to do my pen, y'all. <sighs> so I'm like, doing shit for real. Thank God. Mm, it's once a week. Uh, and it, ah, fuck. Okay, yep, and it burns. It's still kind of burn going in. So, whew. damn, that was the first. Normally, I've been doing good with none coming out. But y'all can see the little hole. The medicine went in, it completed, because now it's yellow. And that lets you know it's completed. And I'm holding it up. Damn. Hmm. Yes, in some cases, you might get a little bit of dripping out, but not for me. I have been doing good to where none was coming out, but it's all in there. It's all good, but sometimes you might get a little drip, and then you just um, dispose of it, and then that lets you know it's completed. And, yeah, that one just hurt it. It kind of, the medicine, it, it, it burns, and it's no bleeding. I don't really know why I'm wiping myself. I mean, at first when I was... First doing it, I was going, you know, do it, trying to learn it. But now you just stick it, press it down. It's like, it's what it is. It's a pen. And that's just it, y'all. Oh. So, y'all see, it's definitely in there. So, normally, because this shot had been giving me so many side effects, I would normally take it before the shot and then take another after. So, I'm trying to see today because i'm off i don't have to you know obviously i don't have to go to work so i'm trying to see how my body react hush what you working for so now i'm about to i'm doing large and i'm going to come back in here because i have to monitor my little my little princess over there sleeping. Like she done, um, she done kept me up all damn night. And now she's sleeping her little baby life away. She's so beautiful, y'all. I just love her. Let me see. He gonna be quiet. Hey, hey, be quiet. Hush. Be quiet. Shut up. Stop barking. When you wake her up, it's going to be your ass. And I mean that shit. I'm sleepy as hell, y'all. I just told that fucker to shut up. She's so beautiful. Um, I can't really show her. My daughter don't want her to post on social media just yet. So I'm not going to post any pictures of her until my daughter is ready to. So she don't, um, I can't really show y'all her.
But she is beautiful. Her is so beautiful. I will show y'all maybe a little bit. Let me see. A little tiny bit. See her little? See her little? Yeah. Her is so beautiful. <laughs> her is so beautiful. <laughs> she came early. She's a preemie. My daughter had her early, so um, she was in the hospital for like, um, she just got out the hospital about about a week ago now, about two weeks ago. She been in the hospital for like two months, so yeah, about them, almost two months, because she, when she came home, she was just getting ready to turn two months. It was like a couple of days before she turned two months, so yep, she's only two months, and she been in the hospital all this time, because she came early. She did her. My daughter's water had broken. Um, they had to give her um, an emergency cesarean, which she never had. She had her other kids, you know, vaginally. I had all my kids vaginally too, but um, so she yeah she broke out of there, and I know I said I was praying, but she was she's here. She's blessed. She's she's healthy. She her appetite is 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 good, you know, and she's doing really good. Such a blessing. Her is so pretty. She's so beautiful, y'all. Whenever I'm get, whenever I can post her, I'm gonna post her. I'm gonna put some pictures up. So anyway, um, I just want to see how my body's gonna react to um the shot, which I do on Mondays, and it's um. I done lost my train of thought. I'm so sleepy, y'all. Y'all don't understand. So I was like, let me do some laundry. Because I had planned on doing laundry anyway today. But I know I was going to be up with Sleeping Beauty here. So. And she up here smiling. Oh, and she even kept me up. And I'm delirious. Anyways, so... That's that. I already. I just made her a bottle for when Queen Queen B wakes up. I'm gonna check her and see if she need to be changed. But I changed her this morning. We was up at like five six, and I changed her then. But I'm um, it's like one thirty five. I'm gonna check her now. She don't really, you know, poop as much. Um, she her appetite is so good. But I'm gonna change her. I'm gonna check her and see if she need to be changed by now. And she knocked out. I'll be rotating her, too, like, turning her on her sides and stuff. So, I just rotate her so she won't be laying just on one side. I'll turn her on her other side as well. She gonna be so spoiled, y'all. My, my first granddaughter, too. Because all my grandsons are spoiled, and I love them little jokers. I just was FaceTiming with them last night, asking them if they wanted to be for Halloween. And I... I need pictures because they talking about Spider Man three, and somebody else and somebody. I was like, no, I need pictures so I can go match it up with the costumes. Cause no, they something else. Okay, y'all, I'm d doing it. Her, all right. So, um, I kind of lost my train of thought because my head is starting to hurt a little bit. Oh, the side effects from this with Govy Pen. I've been having, um, I don't want to say my vision is blurred now. Um, I'm not saying it's from the Wagovi Pen because I've been on so many medications. And if y'all been following my journey and even on my other YouTube page, when I first started getting sick, having these surgeries, start getting sick, having pneumonia. I documented all that. And that's on my other YouTube page, um, just Nakia Hodge. So go on there as well, like and subscribe. And then you can guys can try to follow my journey of my tummy tuck. And I documented all of that. So you guys can see when I was small or when I was full throttle in my workouts, you know, all of that, you know, shit. I was documenting how hard it is to maintain and keep up, blah, 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 you know, having surgeries and hernia surgery and all that type of shit that I had last year. So with that being said, now I was on so much medication because I was sick all of last year. If you guys been following me, 
you would know that because I was sick with this pericarditis, this heart condition. So I believe a lot of those had a lot of side effects. It's like impaired vision and, and uh, you know, besides causing drowsiness, things like that. So I really can't pinpoint, but I now need glasses. I don't know if I shared that with you guys last time when I chimed in on any of my um she's smiling any of my videos but I went and got my eyes checked and um yeah I need glasses I have my script and everything I ordered me glasses they actually came so now I just need to take my glasses up to the um eyeglass place and um give them the money so they can get started it's like gonna cost me almost like four hundred dollars just for them to get my lenses together and shit like that you would think I ordered like the the um the transparent like the no the what was them lenses that turn from the term dark because my son used to have them when I first started buying my son glasses I got him the glass oh transitional I got him the transitional lenses you would have thought I would have ordered and shit like that but I didn't but I did order a certain kind of like um I think scratch free I ordered I mean, I wanted on my lenses. I did order some other shit on my lenses. I didn't want no line on my lenses because my shit is kind of bad. I mean, it's like I'm getting like a almost like a bifocal lens, I think. And I was like, I don't want no line on this shit. I don't want my eyes looking little or big. And um, so all that little stuff, that little inkling stuff it costs. But however, when I get ready to take it up there, which it probably be this week, I at least get them half, and then they can get started, and then I can pay the rest when they when the shit is ready. So, I am so sleepy. Oh my god, y'all! I'm going to um, upload. I'm going to upload my pictures from my birthday dinner on Friday with my kids. Well, one of my kids was, um, she wasn't there. She had to work. So she did FaceTime, um, FaceTime us while we was there. So I'm going to upload a few pictures from that. And then I will upload my pictures from my actual birthday, which was Saturday. Um, the place, man, the room we were at and where we were at and the beach and everything we were at, it was beautiful, just beautiful. Walking on the beach, walking on the, just the, the, the piers, the, the boats, the water, the view. So I will upload some pictures of those as well after this video. So. Oh, oh baby, what you doing? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can wipe this shit off of it. Okay. What is this on your lips? Stuff off her little mouth. Y'all probably milk or something. She be blowing little spit bubbles when she sleeps on. All right, it's getting that off her little mouth. Okay, so anyway, that's where I'm at with that. Um, I was I was gonna I was gonna talk about some other stuff because I said it's not always gonna be about my situation and what I'm dealing with. It's gonna be about other shit as well. Like I was gonna talk about the if y'all listen to Steve Harvey Morning Show. It, did y'all catch it, the the segment about a week ago when Shirley, you know, aired her dirty... Well, her... First of all, you know, somebody obviously leaked her conversations with her husband at the time because he's finna be now her ex-husband and whatever, whatever. So the phone calls got leaked or whatever. And so she, she wanted to just pretty much speak her truth. And it was really good. It was really good. Um, at first, when I was listening to it, I thought she was talking about, I thought she was reading the strawberry letter, but then she started crying. I'm like, wait a minute. 
this is about her. So after everything was said and done, you know, you can always go back and recap, like listen to Strawberry Letters on on their website, the iHeartRadio um, app or the website. So that's kind of what I do. I kind of, because I listen to Strawberry Letters when I'm like in the tub or in the shower or something, I like go back and catch up and listen to Strawberry Letters. But I'm not going to get into that right now because I'm already 25 minutes into this video. And if I'm going to talk about some shit like that, then it'll be when I first chime in and then I say my two cents about it and so on and so forth. But I thought it was really, really, um, she spoke her truth and that's what people want to do. Let me speak my truth. I don't know what's out there in the blogs. You know, everybody's going to take this shit and run with it because I listened to the conversations. I listened. I went on YouTube because it, it was all over YouTube. I did. I went on there and I listened to the conversations and everything. And her husband, he was just low down. He was just low down. And I was kind of taken back a little bit. But like I said, I'll talk about this another day, another time. Because I really do have some input on what my opinion is of the whole situation and things like that. So, however, but um, I wish her all the best. I'm glad she's divorcing him because he was no good to begin with. I mean, it's just, I, I'm sorry. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't have a kind word for that barrister. That I'm a, he couldn't call my phone. He couldn't even call nobody's phone for free. I just know. You can't even be around kids or fucking animals because you's a fucking pervert, you disgusting prick. So, no. I mean, no. So, it's deep, y'all. But I'm quite sure people have been chiming in and listening to it because it's been it was the quite the buzz and everybody has been talking about it. So even celebrities, everybody been talking about it. But her husband, he ain't shit. He is not shit for real. And it's not because we found out he have a whole nother mistress. Um it's just, he just not shit for real. He just not. And, you know, it's like sometimes we just don't, we just don't see the train wreck coming. We don't see the warning signs. We don't see the flashes lights. We just don't see the shit coming. So I'm going to get off here and just finish doing my laundry and spending time with my granddaughter. Her mother be coming to get her a little later. And, um... Get ready for this work week. I have been taking, I took like this whole weekend off because it was my birthday. So now I got to get back in grind mode because I don't plan on taking any more days off. So other than what I'm, what she give me, but now it's, I'm going to be full throttle and, you know, just go on and get it in. Enjoy my little Halloween season because it'll be over in a minute. All right. So with that being said, Y'all have a blessed day. Um, like and subscribe to my page. Tell your friends. Chime in. Feel free to ask me any questions, comments, or concerns. I'm not afraid to answer. I'm not afraid to ask. So, is anybody else going through the same similar situations as me? You feel like your surgeries was botched, things like that. Just, just talk about it. Chime in. You know, talk to me. Ask me questions. Tell me your story. You know, let's get together and chime in, do some live shit, something, you know. Let's just make it happen because I feel like I need to be on botch, to be honest. Y'all seen my stomach, my shit fucked up. Then I've had all, to, all these hernia surgeries. I had the robotic hysterectomy. That put more scars on my stomach. I said by the time I'm done, my shit going to look like a whole butterfly collection because I'm getting them all covered up with butterflies or some shit. Butterflies and probably little skeleton butterflies or something. I think um, Sleeping Beauty is waking up. Hey, Boogie. Hey, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. Oh. She is so beautiful, y'all. She gonna be so spoiled. She already got a shit ton of stuff. My daughter have to get enough for a long time for her. And by her being little, she got to grow into everything. But yeah, she's so congested, though. Let's, let me check your little... Let me check your diaper. Is that okay? Can I check you, please? Did you pee any? She barely goes to the 
bathroom. She haven't pooped yet. So I told my daughter that she had not taken a dump. She probably needs some little gas drops for kids. To make them poop or something. Not to run her off, but you know, for gas, like the little gas drops, I think you're supposed to put it in their milk or something. So to make sure she's going on a regular. Okay, she just stretching. Look at her little feet, y'all. Look at her. Look at her little feet. Look. <laughs> she is so beautiful. <laughs> oh, I'm just in love with her already. She is so beautiful. Okay, bookie bookie. I'm trying to check your little your little diaper here. Hey, sweetie pie. You waking up, the glamour? She gotta get to know me. I want her to know me and know my no kids pick up on your scent too. She gotta get to know me. I don't think I'm a stranger keeping her. Even though she be with babysitters. So she have a lot of people she needs to get to know. Uh, you dry. I'm not gonna change it anyway. You look pretty dry. Okay. Okay, yeah, well, she's waking up now. I'm going to probably get her and play with her for a minute. Okay, so, y'all, I'm going to go on and get off here. Y'all have a blessed day. And like I said, like, subscribe to my page. Chime in. We can talk about whatever. Just keep the comments respectful. That's all I ask. Because you will get your feelings hurt and be blocked. But, no, just seriously, just keep the comments respectful. We, I'm not for that. We're not, we, we not having it on my platform. So, holla. That's just my two cents, and y'all have a blessed day. Peace.